Hello everyone, um, my name is Ryan Hallett, I am the head of support here at my PT Hub and I am just going to show you a quick video of what it looks like from your client's perspective when they uh, book into one of your events on your calendar. Um, so hopefully you can see my screen and you can see that this is a client account and the way we know this is they've got log nutrition ad progress photos. Um, so the way that clients will book into one of your events is firstly they need to ensure they have the amount of credits on their profile. So the way that they do this is that you can either gift it to them in their contact profile. Alternatively, they buy a package from you. So if they wanted to buy a package from you, um, let's say this client has no um has no credits you can see here i've got one online class pass which they can buy from me so they can go to the marketplace and they can purchase that which means that they're going to be able to get one class pass which will just include however many credits i've set it as so this client actually does have enough credit so what we need to do is we need to go to the calendar so when I go to the calendar, you can see here, this is my calendar as a client. So this is a program that I'm actually following at the moment. So you can see here, it will give me the days. But what I want to do is I want to view my trainer's calendar. So I want to view what my trainers have got in their calendar, which I can book into. So what I do is I hit this um, icon in the top right hand corner. This will be slightly different on the app. If this, on the app, it will be a little clog icon, which they can click on and ch change to view the trainer calendar. So you can see here, I've now changed it. And I can see that my, my trainer is, tomorrow is putting on a live home workout. They've then got a boot camp class um, on Saturday morning as well. So from a client's perspective, what we want to do is we want to click on the event. I can see that there's 10 spaces available and Ryan's the attending trainer. And then this is what I want to view. So I can see that this is the attending trainer. I've got it's a live stream, um, credits available um, and also spaces available. It's only the t uh, time, date and duration. Um, and if there was a photo there, I'll be able to see that. But I have this option where it says book event at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to book event. So I can select my credits. And the reason I can select my credits is that you ha might have some clients who've got unlimited credits with you. Um, but then also you might have gifted them some credits outside of that as well. So I'm going to go to the gifted credits that I've got, select credits. I am now booked into that event. And you can see there it's now nine slots that are available. Um, and the information is now populated for me. So I will have this open stream option and also um, the password because because I've linked this with Zoom, all passwords we need. So if I click open um, stream, you can see that it takes me straight to this Zoom account. Um, and, and obviously, I'll just type the password in, which would be nice and easy for me. So I'll do that at the time of the event. But just going back to the calendar and going back to my trainer's profile, on my trainer's calendar, you can see now that it's changed to one out of 10 people. So this is updated constantly for the trainers and also for the clients. So you can see how many spaces are available. If it was 10 out of 10, I would not be able to book in. Um, if there was a waiting list on that particular booking, then I would be able to join the waiting list and everyone on the waiting list would, would just receive an email and it would be done on a first come first serve basis. But also you have the option for boot camp, which is very, very similar. I mean, um, the only difference is with this is that I can, with the location, this is when that will really matter because you need to put a location in of where this bootcamp class is taking place. But it works in the same principle. So from a client's perspective, they'll go on to here, they can go book events, um, I can, they can use those particular credits that they've got, do select credits, and now they can then book in. As a client, I can cancel this booking if I want, which I, can, which I have then just done, or I can restore it. And when it comes to cancel bookings for clients is that, Within your settings as a trainer, you can say what is allowed and what isn't allowed. So you will have a notice cancellation um, period. And what that notice cancellation period is, is that if they cancel within 24 hours, if that's what you've set it as, then when clients cancel within that 24 hours, they will not get the credits back on their profile. However, if they cancel outside of those 24 hours, then they will get those credits back. So from a client's perspective, that is how they will book into your events. Um, and I hope that gives you a little bit of clarity on how nice and easy that is from a client's perspective. Um, but if you have any questions at all, guys, following this, please do get in touch with our support team. We'll happily walk you through any areas that you need or answer any of your questions or concerns that you have. Um, but thank you very much.